All right, world premiere of the Cat9 composite drop five. Uh, we should have no problem hitting nukes today. Uh, we're more going for obstacles beyond the fence. So let's we'll try this out. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros, and today is indeed a great day to keep calm and hit nukes because we got the brand new 2021 Cat9 Composite. This looks just like the Cat9 Connect, but do not be fooled. This is a composite barrel, composite handle, has the exact same build as the Cat9 Connect Drop 5, but this is the new beast from Marucci, ideally kind of meant to compete with the CF Zen. So we are gonna try this out today, hit some nukes with it. It's a composite, so we can expect that this is gonna be better than like the Cat9 Connect. Typically, a new SSSA composite is quite a bit better. We're gonna see how this goes and then compare it. Mason, bring it in, man. Yup. To the CF. What kind of video would this be if we're not putting it up against the current best? Let's get it. All right, quick look at the Cat9 composite USSA drop five here. This is a two and three quarter. So this is gonna be a fatter barrel than a lot of drop fives. However, I wanna caution against people buying this bat purely because it's a two and three quarter inch barrel. Uh, barrel diameter actually matters a lot less than you think it does. Uh, more information on that in the description below. There's a cool study on it. But we wanna put this guy up against the Zen, well, technically just the CF this year. But we got two 2021 drop five two-piece composites here. The barrels are gonna be pretty similar size, both giant. The connector piece is just a bit further down on the cat here. But uh, guys, this is this is a big one for Marucci. Very excited about this. We got full reinforcements out here today. We got myself, we got Cam, we got Mason Guerra. We're gonna try to put some balls up towards that school and deep out in the tennis courts there. Let's get it. All right world premiere of the Cat9 composite drop five. Let's check it out. Uh, we should have no problem hitting nukes today. Uh, we're more going for obstacles beyond the fence. So let's try this out. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Woo! Oh yeah. Wow, that's Dude, okay, we honestly have a contender, I think. This is very good. And this is also going to be a really big durability test for these two bats. It's about 50 degrees, which for us isn't that cold. This is pretty typical weather for like a springtime game in Portland, Oregon. Uh, but for a lot of you guys, it's going to be pretty cold. A lot of you guys wouldn't want to use composite in this cold of weather. So we'll definitely find out if these have good durability. If they're going to break, they're probably going to break in a situation like this. We're swinging very hard. It's kind of cold outside. <laughs> That's pretty gangster. That'll do. I don't think it's out. It's out. Oh, it's wow. <laughs> wow. It's good. I told you. Wow. I, wow. Oh! School shot! School shot! School shot! Oh, oh my God. The school. I was about to go insane First mode. Hack, bro. Oh, my Lord. Our L screen's holding up. Shout out to the new East and L screen. That thing's pretty money. 102. Oh. Wow. Yes, sir. This is a fun bat. This is a fun bat. Oh. Hit something. Wow. One hot. Dude, that's. I like didn't even swing hard there. This is very, very good. Is it out? Is it out? Yeah, yeah nice. Out. Nice. School shot! School shot! Let's go! Let's go! Three, two, one. Ah! Yep! Oh, wow. Yeah, this is very legit, bro. Oh, I'm excited to swing the Zen. That's pretty nice. That's 400 feet. Gone. Later, ball. Over the fence. I'll move. Total miss, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Get on the school! Get on the school! Oh, off the side of the building. All right, good piece. We'll go see it now. Oh my! Is God. that another one? Do it again. Is that another Too one? High, bro. Too high. It's way high. Oh my, god. Yeah. oh my god bro <laughs> oh man the cat nine comp oh that's hitting something come on oh didn't you hit the side of the school that, that felt like sort of off the end oh no wow way. Wow! Light pull. It's unreal. That's just unreal. That's that's just unreal to me, bro. All right, time for the CF. Oh! Wow! Also, very, very good. That's All right, bad. that was like as far as the first one. Oh my. <laughs> that is hot. That was back. like that was like <laughs> 15. Oh, dude, that's off the. That Wee. might be on top. <laughs> off, off the side, also. All right. Okay, so right off the bat, this feels a little bit more end loaded and way more flexible. Uh, the Cat Nine composite, nice and stiff, felt really good, and even a little bit lighter, probably. Oh. Over the deepest part of the ballpark. Later, ball. Nice. Huh. Wow. That's still gone. Just missed it. That's Way gone. under it, so far out. Jeez. Oh. Goodbye, tennis court. Later, ball. Oh, yeah. Wow, we got a lot of pickups here. Whew. We're going to have a lot of shagging to do today. Jeez. I'm gonna be honest, I might like that bat more because I can't. Stiffer? Yeah, because I can't pull the ball with this bat. I know, dude, it's too freaking bendy. Yeah. There is no travel ball player in the history of the universe that swings as hard as you, though. Yeah. So I don't know if that's gonna like negatively affect guys as much. Yeah. Uh, going for the school shot. Nope, that's out, though. Dude, I can't believe that's going over the fence. Like that's, that is a not a good swing at all. These things are stupid. You got to use this? Yeah, they're fun. They're a lot of fun. I feel so ripped off, dude. <laughs> my drop I, five bat sucked. I got to use the CF7. Oh and my so, god. The yeah. CF7's like better, it's like, just like the green zap. Yeah. Oh! Please, that is far. Dang it, a little bit more to the left. Bro. <laughs> Later, ball. With this bat, it's all just thinking right center. No! Not under it enough. <laughs> all right. Into the bat? Yeah, that's gone. Way gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh. Is that gonna get light? light? Is that gonna get light? Oh, I think it went over. I think it went over. Wow. Dang it! I'm not. I'm hitting bombs, but I'm not hitting them on the school. My goodness! That's like <laughs> on the tennis court, but First not even cool, bro. Dang it! And we're, on the tennis court. We're trying to hit the school, all right? JT hack. Oh come on! No, not far over enough. Holy smokes, bro! Do you have like an easy early pick? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it the boring, not edgy pick? Yes. Zen, the Zen. Well, the CF. Why'd they drop the Zen? That's how everyone knows this bat. I'm not calling it the CF. I'm calling it the Zen. <laughs> wow. 103. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Come on! It's too far left, but it can hit the other roof. Not oh. quite. Dang it. Dude, that's like close. Yeah. 
That, that might be the second best U trip bat I've ever swung. Uh, the ADV is going to contend. That's the a really ADV good. Was, yeah. The ADV right. will contend. Well, it'll face off eventually. Wow. 102. Oh, oh <laughs> nice. <laughs> Got to live up to the shirt here. JT hack. Oh my wow. god, that went so far over the tree. Oh my oh. lord. <laughs> that might oh. be 450. Dude, that was <laughs> Okay, this is very good. Really Dude, it's not good. broken. It's just yeah, it freaking bends like crazy. Yeah. But I mean again, if you don't like I, I don't take that big of hacks as you, so it doesn't affect me as much. But with you, dude, it feels like just by whipping your hands, the barrel's already flexing. All right, gents. The people want to know the question of 2021. Are you going with the legendary CF or the Cat9 Connect after a full round with each? Uh, Cam, we'll start with you, man. What you got? Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go with the CF. Boring. Yeah. I'm boring. <laughs> I'm boring. Uh, the the sweet spot is bigger. It felt yeah, bigger. It, yeah. It's bigger. Off the end, it was better. The only thing I liked more than this on the Cat9 was this has way, this had a lot of flex. Yeah, yeah and lots so it was of flex. Hard to rip it down the line and hard to pull it to left. I was getting a lot of stuff to center um, that I kind of wanted the left center for like my power alley. But really, the I think the sweet spot and pop kind of outweighed it and made it okay, made me okay with the flex all around. But yeah, I got rung up a little bit on the Cat 9 off the end. Uh, overall, I felt like this just hit the ball harder, so. And Mason, you're the last person that would ever be swinging one of these. Yep. You need, you shouldn't even be allowed to swing BB core. No, so, yeah. uh, okay, which one out of these are you picking, man? I've been a really big fan of the CF for a long time, but... Yeah. Ooh! I'm going... Wow, to wow. bro! Wow. Yeah. Why? Okay, I'll tell you why. Because uh, the Zen, super bendy, right? Super hard to pull a ball. When I have to hit with the Zen, I have to just think right field. For me, I pull a ball in, like, more than half my at-bats. And I mean, I use my power alley a lot to left center and this bat, this bat was juiced. You hit a lot better with yeah. that. You hit uh, a lot better with that. Smaller sweet spot, I'd say. You got to hit it in this area for sure. Yep. But I mean, it's way stiffer. CF Zen though, it, it is like top bat. So like if you're a seventh, eighth grader and you don't quite have the bat speed that'll make it flex as much, you should definitely go with that for me. I'd swing the cat. Yeah, and Mason brought up kind of the main point I want to touch on here. This has a ton of flex, right? And for a stronger hitter, it feels like it's almost freaking flexing before you even make contact with the ball. However, for a typical 12 to 14 year old that's swinging a 3227 drop five CF, they're not going to have the bat speed to generate it. On a lot of my swings, I was swinging like 75, 80%. And this thing was hammering the ball. I was pulling the ball with ease because I wasn't generating as much flex up front. I was trying to imitate, you know, more of a younger guy swing and this i thought was noticeably better um had a lot more spring off the barrel when i was swinging like out of my shoes i felt like the cat nine composite felt a little bit better because it's a lot more stiff but overall for kind of a softer swing i think a younger guy would benefit from the cf quite a bit more still so i'm still going this as my number one huge drip composite bat right now but guys this is very good Honestly, swings kind of a lot like the meta, but even better. This is almost like what I would have expected the drop five meta to be like. Has that mega sweet spot, nice and stiff, launches the ball. But guys, I still think you're going to get a little more thump out of the CF there. But guys, if this like sells out or something, honestly, this is probably my number two. We're going to have to put it up against the ADV because that's another really, really dang good uh, U-Trip bat. However, guys, last big thing I want to touch on here is durability. And the CF Zen gets a lot of flack for not being very durable. But guys, it's 50 degrees out here. We put a ton of hacks on this thing. And I'll just give you a quick twirl around. Not that you'd really be able to see, but take my word for it. This guy isn't cracking at all yet. The CF is holding up 100% and the Cat9 composite is starting to crack a little bit. We got a little crack right there. We got a good crack right there. And right now these are kind of just seams. They're not full on breaks yet, but it's definitely showing the early signs of going, whereas the CF is actually holding up a bit better. Uh, you can definitely expect these to last a lot, lot longer for a 12 to 14 year old. They're not gonna be swinging nearly as hard as us and it's kind of cold out here. So this started cracking in like 
150 swings for us it's not going to start cracking that early for you it's going to last a lot lot longer but uh this kind of outlived it i mean they have the same amount of swings this actually might even have more swings and it outlived the cat 9 composite so another reason why we're still going uh with the cf today but guys i was honestly very impressed by the cat 9 composite today marucci really hasn't done a ton in the composite baseball space uh and this is a legitimately very very good u-trip bat we hit some absolute nukes with it um very impressive you'll definitely see this on the field quite a bit next year i think a lot of kids are really going to enjoy this one all right fellas there you have it thanks for hanging out today if you like the video we'd appreciate it if you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you want to help support the baseball bat bros head over to baseballbatbros.com you can buy our merch there all profits are going to go directly back into the channel to help us buy bats and baseballs and whatnot and guys thanks for hanging out today we'll see you next time peace most important question when evaluating this bat, how does it bunt? All right, sack bunt. Sack bunt. Oh, awful. Awful. Drag, Drag bunt. bunt. Drag bunt. A terrible. Terrible. Push, push bunt. Push bunt. Pretty good Sick. at push bunting. The other bunt. The other bunt. Sight. Sight. <laughs> awful. Worst bunting bat of 2020.